today on Blog Success Journal, how to set up your RSS feed. And this is step eight in our How to Start a Blog series. And I'm gonna say, first of all, RSS stands for really simple syndication. It allows subscribers to get updates of your new content. This is another one of those things that you're gonna set up in your WordPress once, and it's gonna be one of those set and forget things. But you do have to set it up, and it can be simple. So just hang with us on this one. <laughs> Again, today's show is brought to you by HostGator, the one and only web host that we actually recommend to our own friends and family. And we got you a really cool deal. If you go to blogsuccessjournal.com slash HostGator, you can start your blog today for just one thing. That's a great deal. Take advantage of that while it's still available. So what's the big deal with RSS? Look, in the beginning, and th this was years ago, uh, it, they, they came the out day. with RSS back in the day. And the idea was that instead of email, people would just get RSS readers and subscribe to feeds. That didn't happen so much, but what did happen is that a lot of the big uh, uh, aggregators for specialty sites, they, they, they pull your articles and headlines from your site in, by way of RSS. So, you know, at the end of the day, you gotta have RSS set up on your site so that your articles end up in, on other sites where they're in front of other eyeballs. You've gotta have this set up. And Google and other search engines, they do pull on your RSS feed, so you wanna have it set up. And look at it this way. It allows other websites an easy way to syndicate your content. It's okay. really that simple. So it's not so much and for individual readers, but yeah, other websites now, to syndicate. Yeah. As far as individual readers, they may not wanna sign up to email, especially some of the more techie ones, because they're more, you know, oh, guys, they're gonna spam me or whatever, right? So they may not do that, but they will sign up to your RSS feed. So just keep that in mind. It, it's, it's another way to build a relationship with subscribers, aside from just email. Yeah, absolutely. So how do you set up RSS? Now that we've sort of, sort of maybe sold you on the benefit, how do you set up your RSS uh, on your WordPress site? Okay, it's very simple. In your WordPress settings, you just enable RSS, enable the RSS feed under settings. It's very simple. I think it's under general settings or well, it's, it's one of those things under general. Just it's click it's really obvious. Click around a bit. That's what I do when I don't know. Anyway, um, just turn it on. That's step one. The second step, which may not be quite as intuitive, you install the FeedBurner plugin. FeedBurner is a service that was actually bought by Google. FeedBurner translates your RSS feed so it's much more readable to a lot more of these syndication sites. And another great advantage of being set up with FeedBurner is that, well, two advantages actually. Now that's owned by Google, Google gets first dibs into your content more quickly. They basically get notified instantly when you, when you publish something, which is great. But the other thing, the other big advantage is that you actually get stats on your RSS feed because normally you don't know who pulls your RSS feed. You have Google Analytics for, you have Google Analytics for your web views, but not for uh, RSS. You're gonna get some views into that. So those are the big advantages. <laughs> what? Wow, that was abrupt. Okay. That was a mouthful, but we're done okay. now. <laughs> Thank God. Okay, sorry. Uh, don't forget to go to blogsuccessional.com slash hostgator to take advantage of our one cent offer. Okay, <laughs> you can start your blog today for one penny.